everybody for joining the first podcast you know real excited about this you know y'all said she needed her own podcast if she's here they done fucked up man but i just want to thank the network where you at network for bringing me on to their team giving me my podcast because we gonna get serious you know this is a girl's world and we just want to know why these men are in it uh <laughs> so today I want to get into some good stuff, you know. I want to get into some real, you know, good entertainment. Because, you know, as a woman, I have some questions for these men out here, you know. I feel like these men are, you know, in our world but aren't giving us the right treatment or not giving us the right attitude or not moving the way they should be moving in our world, you know. Because, you know... It's a female's world. Y'all just living in it. You feel me? For example? For example, a lot of you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for women. Y'all are living in a woman's world, but you're not doing the responsibilities of a man, you know, living in our world. We was told this is a man's world, man. Who said that? Without us, y'all wouldn't even be alive. So explain how this is a man's world without a woman. Wasn't that James Brown? This is a man's world. It definitely was, but, you know, ain't nobody said he was wise. <laughs> so I need you to answer these questions. So for the people that's on my live, all right, we on podcast right now. And I need y'all to talk back to me, especially the men that's in here, because I need y'all to answer some some questions for me. You feel me? Because this is a woman's world and y'all just living in it. And I need y'all to explain some things to me. So why is it that y'all want the finer things in life, quote unquote, women, but can't handle dealing with the finer things in life? Hold on, hold on. I'm just asking. I you feel know? like you know you setting the tone. Like it's like it's real bad bashy. Introduce introduce yourself. You know you. you just, I'm not. I'm not bashing no. But oh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna trust me. I'm gonna get to me. But introduce yourself. Let them know you know you're a mom. You're a model. You know. Right. Okay. So before I go in and I go on on all you men out there, Sheesh. let me just tell y'all. Okay. I'm Barbie. I started out as modeling. You know, I've been modeling since I was like 6, 17, I want to say. And I'm still currently modeling to this day, even after having two kids. You feel me? You know, it don't stop there because, you know, we snap back. (laughs) But at the end of the day, I just wanted to do everything that I'm doing, such as music, modeling, the podcast, everything. I wanted to do everything just because of the simple fact that I want mothers and young mothers at that because, you know, sis is only 24, so we still got some years to go. But I wanted everybody to know that just because you're a mom, your life does not stop there. And I have two young kids, and I'm talking about one, and one was just born a month ago type thing. But... Your life don't stop there, bro. You can keep going. You can keep pushing. You can be whatever you want to be as long as you stay focused and you organize yourself right. You feel me? And don't stop there. Don't stop there. I like that. I like that. So, as far as, you know, I didn't, you know, it's hard as, as everything in this world already that we're dealing with but it's even harder being a mother in that time you feel me like it's a lot of stuff that we got to go through and it's a lot of stuff that we have to deal with that the men on the other hand don't have to deal with you see what i'm saying here we go with that men's part you know we gonna get there though don't even worry about it because a lot of y'all get away with a lot of stuff so at that 
side of being a mother, I know how hard it is. And I know how struggling and stressful everything could be as far as being a mother, especially at 24 and with the economy rising and all that other stuff. It's a lot that we got to pay for. We got to sacrifice. So at the end of the day, it's your world. Make it your world. But revolve it around your kids too. It's not just your world. But at the end of the day, I really feel like every female should have a chance at doing, you know, one thing in life that makes them happy, especially being a mother. And even if you're not a mother, if you're out there and you just being trying to be a go getter, you're trying to get to the bag, you're trying to get to the money, everything does not stop for you being a mom or just because of your height requirement because that's what it was for me you know for modeling they normally say like oh you gotta be this certain height to model blah 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 and guess what i did i stepped on the scene i shut everything down because i am only 4 11 brother i'm only 4 11 and i'm out here um, doing Calvin Klein ads i'm out here working with a lot of different magazines i'm I get booked left and right when I'm able to. Like, it's it's not about height requirement. It's not about your size. It's not about none of that. If you want it, go get it, bro. That's just what it is. If you want it, go get it. You just got to have that mindset. You got to make sure that you're on your P's and Q's. And that this if this is what you want to do, buckle down on yourself and actually do it. But I see y'all responding to what I was saying earlier. So we got some questions from the live. We yeah, we gonna get to that. We got some guys in there, man. Yeah, it's it's men's in here. Thank we God. got some men's. Thank God. <laughs> Anything a woman can do for us, we can do it ourselves, honestly. So you can you can birth yourself into this world. Another man can birth another um, another man into this world. Is what you're trying to say. Listen, y'all are so funny. And anything that you can do for yourself, ain't, uh, everything that you can do for yourself, a woman can do for you 10 times more. Without us, y'all wouldn't have the stability of settling down to focus on anything. I promise you, y'all minds would be all over the world. Your mind would be all over the world. You wouldn't have no type of organization with nothing. Because I can tell you from my personal point of view, the people that I have dealt with personally... They will have so many things that they want to do, but they don't have the mindset to organize it or put it into place. Like, we help level your head. We help you. I'm telling, listen, how many famous people have you heard say out their mouth that their success comes from a woman? I agree. I agree with you. I don't know what he talked about, but I agree. <laughs> right, so I don't mean, do I feel, that. I feel like if you don't live... You feel me? Like, as a man, like, really live, you know, I feel like a man, if you're living as a man, you gotta, you gotta kind of uh, interact with the female, you gotta interact with your community, because as a man, you're supposed to be a leader, you feel me? So, if you interact, then you're gonna know that a woman you is, want. is, yeah, she gonna get your, yeah, man, she gonna take care, she gonna, she gonna wash them feet, them snake feet, and shit, you feel me, that you've been neglecting and shit. I don't know about yeah, that. I'm telling but... you. I'm <laughs> I don't touch feet, I but I do everything else in the world for you. You looking for a shirt? It's been washed. It's hung. It's it's hung up like it's supposed to be. You have to understand one thing. Nobody is saying that men can't do anything for themselves. Nobody's saying that y'all aren't capable of taking care of yourself. Y'all are just a breed that can handle only certain things at a certain time. I promise you, I can literally walk into 95% of men's house and understand that it's just a band in that house because of the simple way that y'all carry things, of the simple way that y'all don't clean up certain things. Like, it has to be, it's a balance, bro. Like, y'all are providers, that is your job. As a man, when in a relationship with a woman. So, if you don't have a woman, what are you providing for? What are you, like, what is your purpose? Like, what are you doing with your life? And if you don't have a female on your hand, you're either looking to have a female on your hand, but you're looking for that right one, or you are, like, trying to balance your lifestyle to try to figure out what you want to do with, in your life. And I'm telling you that a woman can help you organize all of that and get yourself together. 
Yes, you're better with a woman. That's what it is. Men are better with women. Like, at the end of the day, you got to understand this. Yes, y'all are capable of a lot of things, but y'all are capable of so much more if you had a woman on your side. That's just it. And now we get into the conversation that I really want to talk about. So, y'all have this woman on your hand, right? Y'all have this female by your side. And y'all have a certain type of... What's the word I'm looking for? Y'all got a a look that y'all are going for because you know everybody wants a certain type of female everybody wants that female to be bad blah blah blah, whatever whatever but at the end of the day can we really can we really get men to answer this question i really want y'all to respond to me in this live y'all get the finer things in life when it comes from a woman but don't know how to handle the finer things in life like I've had problems in my relationship just because of the simple fact that I get paid for my looks. How'd that work? You knew what I did before you met me. You know what I was getting into before we started dating, before we got this far. So why sit there and make a big fuss out of it after we make things, you know, set things in stone and you really see it the ins and out about how my lifestyle goes when you already agreed that that's something that you wanted to be a part of like really answer this question for me i i i, I just want to know and you right you should settle for things other than looks but let's be realistic a lot of men and not saying that men just men do it but females do it too they go for looks like they don't go for you know how somebody takes care of you or you know what they're doing in their life well a lot a lot of the city girls got um got a mindset that they go on taking taking niggas money and leave but you know Everybody out there ain't a city girl. I ain't no city girl. I ain't no man. I'm, I'm going, you know. I'm saying, every, every, every girl ain't. Like, you might be doing it, but the majority, that's not the majority. Okay, real. When you first meet somebody, you just see the looks. You see the show. You, you, you forget about the whole life that comes with the person, the whole... They, that's they, the what whole what they want out of life that come with the person you don't see that that's what it is it's like you see what you want you see the plate since thanksgiving coming up we gonna refer to thanksgiving plates you see the plate <laughs> but you aren't taken in of what's on the plate or what had to go behind making the plate you feel me like i'm a model there are certain things that i do you know you i have to you know not saying that i have to but it's something that i have accepted yeah i get paid for my licks i can't i can't sit there and argue with anybody for that and you can't argue with me about that because of the simple fact that that's probably what drew you in in the first place like you saw how good i looked i know how good i look they know how good i look they pay me for my looks that's what it is and another thing about me is that it's my body you know a lot of people you know pay me for my body you know and it's uh that's what they want that's what they want to post that's what they want it to be about the photo shoot want to be about but i can't argue with that because of the simple fact that i knew what i was getting too into you know and and it bothers me sometimes because of the simple fact that you know it'd be females that be saying some stuff too you know at the end of the day we understand you want to be my body but <laughs> you heard me they want to be my body so bad. She want to be my body. body, body. You body, body, body. She want to be my body. body, body, body. Tell your niggas suck my Yeah. I heard you talking about me. I got the pain. You know? <laughs> they want to be my body so bad that. Coming to our turn. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Coming out on iTunes real soon, real soon. <laughs> she want to be my body so bad that she would rather put me down than encourage me for what I'm doing. You feel me? Like, I'm comfortable with my body just because you mad that you ain't got a body like this. And you mad because you ain't getting paid to do this. You get mad at me because I am doing it. But that. as far as men being upset with the women that they have chose to be with about what they post or who they present themselves to be on social media is bonkers to me. Like, that bamboozles me. Like, really. I can't... You cannot sit up there and tell me to delete my Instagram after you know that that's how I make money. So what you want me to be broke? You can pay for all my bills? What you want to put money in my hand? What you what you trying to do? Like, you can't be mad at me for something that you knew that I did. Something that you know that I got myself into and you volunteered yourself to get into. Because that's all a relationship is, is that you're volunteering to put yourself in that person's mix. We got to start a free my gram. Uh, a free my, a free my gram campaign. That's what we doing. Free my gram. Like at this point, I really feel like y'all are like pushing on buttons that y'all don't want to tap into because I will really go out here and be wild. And be real wild on my gram. Just so that way we can get this movement started. Free my gram from all these niggas who obviously think that they got some type of control over my Instagram, bro. Bro shit. Bro shit. Free my gram. Free every female who want to post and not insecure about their body. Free my gram. Free my gram from niggas and females. Ooh. Because that's the part that we don't really talk about is that the females be going out there dogging us too. Hashtag free my gram. Real shit. <laughs> Talking about here she go. Yes, here I go. Free my gram. Real shit. <laughs> Y'all so pressed about what I'm doing in my life. Unfollow me if that's the case. If you that mad, unfollow me. It is cut up time for a lot of you. Oh, dang, my phone about to die, y'all. Y'all about to be so sick because y'all not going to be able to see this podcast until it go up on YouTube. But at the end of the day, I really, I really want y'all to understand that they say this is a man's world, but this is a female's world and you just really living in it. The only reason why it's a man's world is because y'all are the providers. Talk about that's fucked up. <laughs> And my phone just died. I know they so sick. They was in there. They was in there going off just now. (laughs) Make sure y'all subscribe, man. Yeah, you got to. Because that's the only way that you're going to see when I post. And I'm telling you, a lot of the things that I talk about on this podcast is really going to be about, like, what females have to go through. As far as I can't speak for the male aspect, and that's why I want a lot of males to be on this podcast, you know, give me feedback because it may be some things that I'm saying that's not true, you know, and it's not all to all men that are out there. It's just to some of the men that I have encountered, like a guy didn't like the way that I was posting on Instagram. So he made my Instagram our Instagram. (laughs) Like, free my gram, man. Right, free my gram. Like, what's going on? Like, it's supposed to be about me, not about us. Like, if that's the case, then we can make a whole separate page for that. But this is the money maker right here. Like, my gram has to be about me, about what people want to see, and people want what I want to advertise it about. Let me tell you one thing. The females that are out here making money uh, about being models and stuff like that. Let's put it like this. We don't post our relationships like that. Well, let's put it like this. I post my relationship. I don't care. I post my relationship only because of the simple fact that I don't want the person that I'm dealing with feeling some type of way. Everybody knows in show business. 
posting your significant other is bad for business. It is. It like, it's, is. It just recently, like, you know, little baby and them, they start making it cool, young boy and stuff. They start making it cool to have your girlfriend out with you and all that. Right. Like, everybody know for real it's bad for business. Come on now. It is bad Listen, guys, business. as the producer of this show, I'm going to hold it down for the fellas. But certain stuff, I'm not going to touch, man. Like, I'm not going to. Because I just keep it too real. Like, relationships on, I mean, it's bad for business. We know that. We're not going to click. We're not going to heart out of the, 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 the picture with the girl with her her boyfriend. We're not going to heart on exactly. that. Exactly. If on. you sitting up there following Ruby Rose and you see that she posts a picture of her and her nigga, you won't like the picture. You won't like the pictures? No. Exactly. I don't, Be even, realistic. I don't even like a picture with the girl and her kid. Because me personally, I don't want to come off like I'm liking the kid on some like some pervert shit. Like, you know I mean? Like, I don't even think it's like that. That's I how feel I look though, at it. You know I feel as though as if you like a picture with me and my kids, you interested in me. I just don't want to even come off. Like, I don't know how I like girls on the grab. So I don't even want to come off like I'm. Damn, yeah, man. So. Yeah. Like, if I do like a pick, I'm going to like a pick. But, yeah, come on. It's bad for business. You know it that? is bad for business. And people don't understand that. Oh, dang. Because you know what? They don't understand business. Yeah. And I, I be trying to get it to, like, click in guys' heads. Like, if you want the finer things in life. And when I say finer things in life, I'm talking about women. Not your designer. Not your jewelry. No, none of that. Because all of that is temporary. Like... But when you want the finer things in life, you got to understand what comes with that, bro. You got to understand what comes with that. If she has a presence and social media and all that other stuff, you can't be mad at her for doing what she does to pay her bills. Unless you going to put a stack in her hand every day. Unless you want to sit up there and pay her bills every month. Now... Also, it's a lot of girls that do be policing the gram too. So we gotta do. No, no. Okay. Free my gram guy guy kind of gotta go both ways. All right, all right. So free my gram for the men. This is where free my gram come in for the men. Free my gram come in for the men because of the simple fact that y'all be policing the gram. Yeah. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Big, but, detec- big detectives. And it don't even be us. It be the friend. It be the friend. Big law enforcement. It be the friend. It be the fed. Yes. Y'all we, get got, a, we get together. Now, I'm snitching on the females, all right? We get together and we sit up there and we chilling mm-hmm. with each other. Bitch, tell me why this, 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 mm-hmm. this, this happened and he did this, 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 and this. Well, you remember what the girl looked like? Mm-hmm. You remember at least her name? You know what her gram is? Don't even worry about it, girl. As long as you know what she look like, I can find her. Mm-hmm. Go through all the followers. It be those friends, bro. We be out with our friends and we be talking about it and they'll do it. Or we'll ask for the homegirl's Instagram. So that way we can go on her Instagram and scout shit out from free her my, Instagram. Free my gram, free my <laughs> so that's where Free My Gram comes in for the man. But... I be wanting to take Instagram away from you niggas because of the simple fact that when I am in a relationship, bro, you should be about me. I ain't even gonna cap. Like, what? Yeah, you should be on my body. Like, she, the girl that you like, and she want to be my body, but you should be on my body. You feel me? Come on, I change real soon. Real soon, real soon. But real talk, like, I be wanting to take the gram away from you niggas because of the simple fact that. I'll sit up there and I'll be cool with somebody or I know somebody, right? And then I turn around and I'm going through their Instagram or whatever because I may have not seen their pictures in a while. And my nigga is the first person that pop up in the likes. What are you doing? And then I'm scrolling through her picture and you damn near like every picture. The fuck is you doing? Like... You're not supposed to hit close to home. If you want to do stuff like that, go for the famous girls that I can't be mad about. You feel me? Like, don't go for the people. It's a small world, bro. Don't go for the people that are sitting up there liking my shit. You feel me? Like, she on my body. But you not on my body. She want to be my body. But you ain't on my body, bro. Like, I, I'm, I'm a little salty about that. Like, you can go ahead and like, oh, oh. I just had an argument.
argument the other day about this, bro. So, the person that I'm dealing with, right? He gets the, you know, post their bike for their birthday type thing. You feel me? Get the, you know, oh yeah, happy birthday, bro, or happy birthday, sis, you know? The sis hit me for the first time the other, a couple weeks ago. You feel me? Like, this threw me off. We've been together for a minute. We've known each other since we were kids. Then I'm sitting up there, you know, I'm telling him, like, yeah, you know, I kind of feel some type of way that you ain't post me. Da 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 da. You feel me? And my birthday come up, I ain't getting no posts, no nothing like that. But then his homegirl birthday came up and she got a post. I'm like, how the fuck that work? Bro, we together. We are legitimately in a relationship. And you post your homegirl for her birthday rather than posting me. What type of shit is that? So I get the feeling some type of way about it. And I I get yelled at because of the simple fact that I'm thinking too much of it. What? I can understand posting your homeboys for their birthday, you feel me? Like, even in that, I still want you to post me. Like, I'm feeling some type of way because you post everybody else for their birthday, but not your girl. That's kind of sickening. But you turn around and you go ahead and post your homegirl for your birthday. How am I supposed to feel? How am I supposed to feel? Like... Please help me understand why I was the one getting yelled at for feeling some type of way because you posted your homegirl. Some shit is just common sense, man. Like, does does that not seem sketchy to you? See, I know that y'all police the grams. Free my grams. So I know y'all police the grams. So I'm not going to do <laughs> things on the grand that I know that y'all detective ass is going to use as a clue or anything, you feel me? Hello? Hello? Damn. Like, listen, if you give me the fuel, I'm going to start a fire. If you give me the fuel, I'm going to start a fire. I do not just start a fire off of nothing, bro. I ain't out here rubbing elbows together, you feel me, creating a fire. I'm not out here tapping wood and rubbing wood to get wood sticks together to create no fire. No, you hand me the gas can and I'm going to pour it on something and light the match. What are you doing? I ain't making something out of nothing, bro. Do you feel me? You giving me the fuel, so I'm starting the fire. So, here we go again. Y'all be talking about, oh yeah, it's just Instagram, it's just Twitter, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I don't care about it, it ain't nothing. I'm not really an Instagram person. But you doing everything, and you showing your colors. You showing your ass on Instagram. Showing your ass on Instagram. Like you ain't even you ain't even showing the cheat. You ain't giving them a little sneak peek. You out here doing what I'm doing. Showing your ass. Like we can't do this. It can't be two motherfuckers out here showing they ass. You feel me? Like we, we this ain't a duo baby. It's a one one woman one man show. We we ain't a we know. Now alright. Say if he do make money off the gram. Say if he... I can't be mad at you. Okay, okay. I can't be okay. mad at you. If you, like... All right, so the person that I'm dealing with, he does music. I can't be mad at you because you're using your platform. And, you know, it's like Chris Brown. You know, you can't be mad at Chris Brown for being Chris Brown. You feel me? He talks to the women. You know, he his, his fans is women. Like, he got the men on deck, you know, feel me? Like, with the whole goat thing. Like, Shout he out does Breezy, his thing, man. bro. He tried to fuck my bitch, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm proud of that. Proud of that. You proud of that? Yeah. He want what was my head ass. <laughs> Shout out to Breezy. So, yeah. So, it's just like, you know, actually going to Breezy real quick. Like, nobody knows really how humble this man really is. And it's so surprising to me because of the simple fact that he's like our generation's Michael Jackson. You, you met know? Breezy. Yeah. So, story time. So, when I met him, okay. So, it was two times. 
It was one it's time. Kind of a crazy story, man. <laughs> so it was one time that I spoke to him personally when we was out in Miami and he was doing a show. So me and my homegirls were just like having fun and everything. We was up close and personal with him, and he was just like, "So what y'all doing? Like y'all trying to go? Yeah, like y'all trying to go to a little so, after party? Which mean up close and personal?" Like, we were close to, like, at first we was close to his section. Don't skip anything. I'm not. <laughs> so, we was, like, close to his section for real. So, we were, like, literally, like, we're in his face type thing. So, we were all just sitting there. We were just chilling, partying, whatever, whatever. He had just finished singing, dancing, whatever, because he was, like, in the club doing his little party thing. Was singing and you know, doing his little thing. And, you know, he Chris Brown, so he's still up in his section singing and dancing to, like, every song. So, yeah. it's just, like, we were up close and personal with him, and then they was just, like, he was just, like, yeah, what y'all doing, whatever, we having, like, a little after party, y'all trying to come. Cool, say no more. After party with Chris Brown, even more close up and personal, you know what I mean? And a little rub up on Breezy, you feel me? So we finally get to the little after party or whatever. And me and my homegirl, like, it was like me and my best friend at the time, like, we was real close. Like, I didn't go nowhere without her. That's the one you type. do all your dirt with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my partner in crime. Partner in law that part he wasn't so, just talking to me he was talking to me and my homegirl you feel me so he was just like because i was just like i said on my mouth like you know i don't go nowhere without her you feel me like i don't care who you are i don't go nowhere without her she my backup you feel me he was like, i understand that i understand that get to laugh and he got giggling and shit and i was just like you know mm, i don't know how i feel about this you feel me like i'm in a relationship type it's thing. a lot a lot of thinking you're doing with, Chris, I, <laughs> with breezy and i should have took the pass i should have went for the pass Fumbled the because bag. i'm just sitting up there looking at myself now that i'm out that relationship i'm just like bro what the Fumbled fuck was the i thinking what the fuck that's, all cool. that's cool that's cool you were faithful Look, look, look what you got from it, right? Give a round of applause for that. For being faithful. You know, but that ain't the only crazy, like, as far as, like, celebrity-wise. So, you, you, I think we should, I think we should save that for, uh, episode 10. We should? Yeah. We're gonna do, we're we gonna, we yeah. should say that for episode two. So, so, um, so you, you got one celebrity story and you have another one. I have another one. After okay, that. you know how many people have <laughs> never been a celebrity in their whole life? N not even had a type of interaction. And you wanna know what's crazy? It just has a lot to do with me being at the right place at the right time. That's it. All you gotta do is get in the circle. I swear. That's it. I swear. And regular people like us. I mean, they just got money. Some of them. Fortune. Don't 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 let them. A lot of cocaine. A lot of them have the fame, <laughs> and don't got the fortune. Don't let them fool you. True. You me? True. But I feel like as long as you got celebrity, like you should be able to make money off of it. Some don't. I just think they don't like they they just put their career in the hands of uh, you know other people and don't really you know. But you can always monetize. And it is so. so crazy because some of them be really talented, bro. Some of them be like really talented. Really talented, but they just sit on their talent. Uh -huh. And that makes me so sick. Because I'm like, do you know what I would do with your name? That's what I'm saying. This is a new this is a new time. This is a new time and a new age. But hey, yeah. get it how you please. Get it how you live in. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I know that when I become that person. I will never, ever let a bag slip out of my hand and by any means necessary. First if, episode done, man. How you feel, man? You, got, you, you, started, feel you started your podcast. I feel good. I got a lot of things off my chest. You feel me? Like I was holding some things. It feels a little lightweight, you know? Yeah. I feel like I'm walking around a little 10 pounds lighter. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you feel me? Shout out your gram and everything and sign us up. So make sure that y'all follow me on the gram at the original Barbie, which is T H E O R I G I N A A L Barbie. 
And make sure that y'all follow my podcast. Make sure y'all follow the YouTube. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all leave y'all comments. Make sure you leave a topic. If you want me to talk about something, let me know. You want to interact with me and we can hop on the live together to talk about something, we can go ahead and do that. You know, we in this together. You know, it's a female's world. Like I said, and these guys are just living it. <laughs> She didn't say she was trolling, she screamed.